There is a tendency for humans to misunderstand some animals, thinking they are dangerous, frightening, disgusting, dirty, pests or vermin, but the reverse is also true. People fear them and kill them because they don't like the way they look or feel, or are put off by films or folklore. However, it's often misguided, so in this video, I'll take you to see the top 10 misunderstood animals. Number 10. Snakes As the name implies, Ophidiophobia, or a fear of snakes, is a very common disorder in people. In the media, they are portrayed in a very negative light, and, from an evolutionary perspective, it makes sense that we would be afraid of something that could harm us in the near future. Did you know only 200 of those are venomous? and that only 200 can kill or seriously injure humans. In other words, that's about 7% of the total. In the majority of cases, they are harmless. It is rare for snakes to attack unprovoked. Since venom takes time and effort to make, it's not something they want to give up easily. They don't need to waste it on us if left alone. It is only when they feel threatened that they attack, and even then. It is usually as a last resort, as they will likely attempt to flee first. As a warning, they may also rattle their tail or rub their scales together to create a rasping sound, such as rattling their tail or rubbing their scales together to make sound. Snakes are a big part of middle-order predators that keep our ecosystems healthy. The number of prey species would increase to unnatural levels without them, and predators that consume snakes would have difficulty finding food. Number 9. Alligators As far as animal groups go, reptiles are the least understood, and since alligators are the largest, it's not surprising they're on this list. The truth is, though, their reputation as man-eaters isn't strictly justified, as they don't usually pursue humans as prey due to the fact that they are too big and heavy for them to catch. Generally, attacks take place when birds are fed, or when they are defending their nests from people who have wandered into their territory. Even so, they are a large and territorial species, and are predators that eat whatever suitable prey they are able to find at the time. Our respect and understanding are deserved because of that. Feeding alligators encourages them to get close to people which is a serious threat to public safety. Observing alligators, or their nests near water bodies, should never be done, and complacency should be avoided around water bodies. Many species are considered critical for the way they modify their habitat. American alligators, for example, dig gator holes, which are often the only aquatic habitat left during dry seasons. It serves as a refuge for many fish, turtles, and other aquatic species, as well as a source of water for birds, terrestrial animals, and plants. Number 8. Wasps A wasp is one of those insects that have people running around in a flap waving their arms in terror, screeching and squealing in terror. As stated previously, they won't sting just for fun. It's a defensive mechanism they use when disturbed or feeling under threat. For example, if their arms and legs are waving around, keeping still and letting them be will probably work out well for you. The most common adverse reaction is mild pain redness, swelling, and itching when you get stung. A wasp sting causes about 10% of people to have an adverse reaction, and the chance of dying from a wasp sting is very remote. Unlike bees, wasps are beneficial insects that pollinate plants and flowers by feeding on nectar, just like bees. Also, they control other insect populations by eating them. Without them, we'd need more chemicals to control pests and protect our veggies. Number 7. Slugs It is well known that slugs are disgusting, slimy garden pests that eat their way through plants in the garden. All kinds of creepy crawlies are used to eradicate slugs, including beer, salt, copper tape, and poisonous pellets. But this creepy thing is actually very beneficial to the ecosystem. Have you ever heard that they have 27,000 teeth? The benefits of slugs Slugs eat plants, but compost too. The process of decomposing vegetation, 
dead leaves and animal droppings, replenishes the soil with essential nutrients. Insects, slowworms, earthworms, and other animals are also able to feed on them which is why they are a desirable food source for other wildlife in the area. Natural balance depends on them. Number 6. Rats Misophobia is the fear of mice. Rats carry a lot of diseases. A flea common to rats has been blamed for the plagues of the Middle Ages or perhaps because of their long, worm-like tails. They are portrayed by movies as either vicious or evil, because movies tend to depict them that way. Regardless of the reason, they have a bad reputation. In addition to their intelligence, rats are social, affectionate creatures that enjoy socializing with one another. In addition, they're docile and clean animals that wouldn't bother a person unless threatened. They only attack if provoked or cornered, like a lot of wild animals. There are several reasons why rats make great companion animals. Besides being clean and easy to train, they form strong bonds with humans. Number 5. Bats. Bats are often portrayed as vampires in stories and films. As a result, many people fear bats, as well as the misconception that they spread rabies. Vampire bats are only known to consume blood, the rest eat insects or fruit, and only 0.5% carry the rabies virus. There is no reason to believe that they are more likely to catch it than other mammals. Their immunity is no more. The disease kills them fast, so they don't spread the disease aggressively. There is also no doubt that bats would rather flee than attack people. The frenzied reactions of people to bats swooping for insects cause more injuries than the bats themselves do. The bat plays a significant role in controlling insect populations. Number 4. Jellyfish Despite the reputation of jellyfish for their stinging tentacles and ability to harm even when dead, there are over 2,000 types of jellyfish in the world. The majority of species are harmless to humans or have a mild sting, and they don't attack them intentionally. The majority of them drift along with the currents, since they have very little ability to push themselves along in the water. Don't interact with anyone who isn't you. In addition to taking common sense precautions, you can take the following measures to avoid jellyfish stings. On beaches, look for flags warning that there are jellyfish in the water to avoid getting stung by a jellyfish. Be careful touching jellyfish that wash up on the shore. Our love for jellyfish jellyfish are an important part of the food chain and help keep the ocean ecosystem balanced. A small jellyfish eats algae and zooplankton, while a big jellyfish eats bigger animals. Number 3. Gulls the seagull refers to a species of gull within the Laridae family. There are over 50 species worldwide. As intelligent and beautiful birds, these birds at the seaside are sure to fit in well with the surroundings. Although they have gotten a bad reputation in recent years, with many people blaming them for being a noisy, messy, food-stealing nuisance, they have gained a better reputation in recent years. The reasons why seagulls steal food from people and become a nuisance are all connected to humans. A change in natural food has occurred due to destructive fishing methods destroying the environment and reducing the supply of food. The number of people visiting the seaside and enjoying snacks such as fish and chips ice cream, and other delights, means that there is more food available onshore. Many people do not dispose of leftovers properly, leaving scraps lying around and overflowing bins. Number 2. Sharks Man-eating sharks are a myth. As a result of their enormous size, ferocious appearance, and sharp teeth, they are scaring people away, and their popularity in movies such as Jaws does not help matters either. There are indeed occasions when humans are encountered by sharks, and the media tends to sensationalize them, but they are rare and, statistically, sharks pose a very low risk to humans. In particular, if you respect and understand their natural instincts and behaviors, 
you can make this happen. It is important to know that sharks are wild animals and don't usually prey on humans. Usually, attacks are motivated by curiosity. As part of their investigation, they are trying to determine whether the splashes are food or an intentional hunting tactic. By taking a few simple precautions, you can reduce the likelihood of coming into contact with sharks when you're in a shark habitat. If possible, stay in groups at all times while in the water. Avoid being in the water during the hours of darkness or twilight during which sharks are most active, and avoid wearing jewelry that appears to have the sheen of fish scales. Number 1. Spiders An arachnophobia is a fear of spiders. Due to the unusual appearance and number of legs, this is a very common phenomenon. It is possible for some of them to enter homes and bite humans, up to the point of killing them. However, that's rare. It turns out there are around 40 different spider species in the world, and only around 30 of them are dangerous to humans. The likelihood of them fleeing humans is much greater than the likelihood of them attacking them. Why spiders make us happy spiders are probably not high on your list of house guests but perhaps they should be. They are extremely beneficial and help to reduce the number of other insects, such as cockroaches, earwigs, mosquitoes, flies, and clothes moths. Some of these insects carry disease, and spiders can help limit their spread if left alone. In addition to being effective against agricultural pests such as aphids, moths, and beetles, spiders are not harmful to plants. Environmentally beneficial. Insects contribute to evolution by keeping insect numbers under control and providing food for many animals. Thanks for watching. This is coming to the end of the top 10 misunderstood animals video. For more videos like this, don't forget to like and subscribe. And if there is any suggestion for this video, please comment in the comment section. So, I can't wait to see you in the next video.